Come on, please, lady. Please. Don't Fuck. fight. I'm Sue Murray, and I want to be your next governor. I know how to lead from the front. I used to be a school teacher. I know what's best for San Andreas. Many of our leaders aren't doing their homework or studying like they should. You're not living up to your full potential. I know third-grade in academic terms and talk down to a room of hyperactive, immature morons to get what I want. I can get things done. I'll make sure the 1% ah! looks after the rest of us like they should. That you get what you deserve from people that work hard. Vote for me for governor. The 80s were totally awesome. The 90s were a blast. And the only thing that got us through the war on terror of the last... Hey, first thing first... <laughs> You think that design is Your ass wipes with pleasure. You fuck what? Hey, here's an old man who might hit back. What is this bullshit? 
bullshit. Speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me.
lucky, buddy. going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Yeah, Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done, period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the FIB building, parking lot entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. The janitor. All right. And how's that gonna get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. Is there a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. File here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him, see what we think. Here we are. Let's wait for him. You're about to get lifted with George McCray. Ooh, what's this? Uh, not our guy. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's it? Nope. So what do we do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need.
Here we go. That's not it. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget, maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Something's coming. This is not the car we're looking for. There she is. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? Noisy much? Ugh. Drive better! Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one in between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on, what do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation, and maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. Making a left up there. He's pulling up. Park down the block. Time to make Harvey an offer. Feel him out. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Jesus. Yo! You got another one of those, Harvey? Well, who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. I'll fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer.
Successful? Oh, yeah. Take me back to the factory. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. Bates, so I thought Frank could tell him to take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do, if I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Government contracts, license to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, he's already here. What's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Things. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not online anywhere, so I'm going to need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip... Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> oh, shit! Make this any worse than it already is. Watching them die. Chewy at high school for Tell me it's good news. Thought you might need this. What a gentleman. And for once, I'm not being sarcastic.
Almost a car, amigo. Oh. Sorry, I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things, and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now, and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore, and the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. 
I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think Mom's at Bean Machine. That car? So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been, it's. It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked-out windows. They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Okay, yeah. Okay. That'll work. Light it up. This joint is called Fetty. Brought to you by my men's in there. Oh, okay. Here they are. Let's do it. Come on, let's say hi. Let's walk up and be civil. Caffeine, come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unitard on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? Well, well, what? Are you ah, ah, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want it. I'm meaning to say to you. I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Did someone say Shut up! Uh, I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no yoga. Oh. All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo shit. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Now, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of, okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. 
Uh, I think they're in here. before the internet ruined everything with his dumb animal videos and celebrity vaginas. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? <laughs> Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh, whoa, whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh, uh, uh, just not my junk, okay? I I'm already scarred to Ah, oh, you fucking prick! Jesus! Ah! Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster! Ah! Oh. Ah! Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks purty. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God! Papa Bear! What's Daddy Number Two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do... Uh, that, that's, a, that's a clean needle, right? I don't need more Hep C. Hey, hey! You're about to make me your bitch, are you? There's a wonder drug that can teach you yeah. food. How about I throw those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Ah, there we go. Oh, that's nice. You got like a camera phone or a mirror? Oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you upside the head with it. Fuck this. Oh, man. No. Ah. Ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one stop shop. What are you doing? Oh, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown, I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. Never a family that needs therapy. My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on. No. Not quite. I don't like this. I bet you like receiving more than giving. Ah! Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey. This was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Pop, now he beats yoga. <laughs> Literally. Like Fabian, around the head with the laptop. Oh, yeah, like, ow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the beam machine bat. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? Show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't have to and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of <laughs> using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> Do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it, it! Do, do it. it! Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually
actually rob a liquor store. That might, like, kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there. You maniac! Are you gonna take this seriously? me! You lunatic! Are you gonna take this seriously? Bad dad! That's cool with me. I got... You had to do it. You had to piss off the cops. Today! We have a civilian... Is this a flashback? Ah! Why did I think this wouldn't happen today? could get arrested and learn a lesson, but we really don't have... Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your cellie's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! I Can today be the day you take off from being a psycho? Doing this with a train of police cars behind us. Get rid of them. We've got what? a civilian in need of assistance. This isn't far. funny. Get rid of them. Careful. Why did I think this wouldn't happen today? I really wish you could get arrested and learn a lesson, but we really don't have time. Get rid of them now! You're a menace! Look out! I got dirt on you now, Pop. I won't tell Mom, but you gotta behave. Mom! You shouldn't
listen to fly low with him. What the hell is a flying lotus? Hey, hey, careful! Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out. I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! Are you gonna take us home then? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond yes. screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Oh, man! Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Mine too. Mm. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. Uh, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke. You dick, Michael! Something was broke, and we got to work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. 
with every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure, to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad, gross! You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. Here we are, home sweet home. Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel.
Oh, no! Shit. Don't you get, buddy! Oh, oh my god! Stupid. What you say, shut your mouth, shut it, shut, just keep it shut. Oh, you know full well exactly what you didn't say. It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything. Well, fuck you. And I don't care that we just met last week, all right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something! Oh, I wish you were dead, I really do. Mm. Ah. Oh, I love you! Oh, let me take you away from all of this! You mm. psycho! He was gonna impregnate my ex by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick 
I've ever met! I love you! You're thin! You're irrationally angry! Nothing you say makes any sense! You are completely have no control of your emotions! We have nothing in common! Oh, baby, we're made for each other! Prove it! On the bike! Now! Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait! Look at you. Mm. You are just perfect, Crazy Cakes! You're incredible! Marry me! Be done with this! Shut up! Don't talk to me! I defended your honor! I took out the alpha male! Evolution demands that we rut like beasts! Oh, God! Marry the misogynistic cop! Bullshit. You need a guy like me. You are just perfect, Crazy Cakes! You're incredible! Marry me! Be done with this! Shut up! Don't talk to me! I defended your honor! I took out the alpha male! Evolution demands that we rut like beasts! Oh, God! Bury the misogynistic law of the jungle bullshit! Stick to your own line! You're so gonna crash! I love an unhinged mature woman! Crazy cakes! You're incredible! Marry me! Be done with this! Go. I defended your honor! I took out the alpha male! Evolution demands that we rut like beasts! Oh, God! Bury the misogynistic law of the jungle bullshit! Ah! Where did you come from? I can feel you looking at my ass! Oh, no! Don't tell me I gave you the carbon bike! Is that supposed to impress me? Just think of all the angry revenge sex! I am not having sex with you! Get that through your thick head! Okay, well jack me off into a cop! Slap me around! We got options, baby! You need help! We both! 
do? It's a recipe for disaster. That's why it's so perfect. Oh, shut up! You're so gonna crash. Ah, give me a break. You really want to be buried out here. Go fuck yourself. I've had it with weak white men. Watch where you're going. Oh, yeah! Woo! Spooky I win! Come on! Come on, oh, no. what? Extra reward! Whatever. That's how this works. You're deluded! Spread your genome in a gym sock! Oh, fuck, I love you! Hold me! Franklin, man, I'm following the architect. All right, don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat. Yeah, thanks a lot. Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. you I'm supposed to sign off on all new hires call 911 he's armed someone help me protect me from him Scumbag. engines and I didn't need any program to tell me to stop that it just took my attack someone and someone why not force the state to keep us all protected by arming every
crack. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. Hey, right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's a good... <laughs> so you do want to mop. Okay. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things, to be honest, but you just might be able to do this with him. Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit. You know, um, I'm still looking into that union depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us.